Lola, and I am the founder and CEO of Lola and Pooch. We are an entertainment, media, and events company, and we are hosting this big six-week-long contest, six-month-long contest. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. I went to school for fine arts and design. I placed in a big contest, got a job right out of school, first designing for Albert Nippon and then for Christian Dior. I booked a commercial, fell in love with the craft of acting, then fell in love with the craft of writing. Five years ago, I adopted my two dogs and I saw the state of our shelter system. I knew that I had a combination of skills that could make a difference. So I headed into the shelters with some photographers. We took a bunch of headshots for the dogs so that they get, could get adopted. Then I started my Pup Scout troop and we'd go out on the streets and so many people would just circle around us and start taking photographs and they'd view the dogs differently and treat the dogs differently because they were dressed in these wonderful gowns and dresses and Pup Scout uniforms. So it made me realize that it, by humanizing the dogs I was able to change people's perception of them so that they weren't seen as disposable property that you left out on the porch in the rain, but instead as the sentient beings that they are. What I saw was that what I had been doing in my humanizing of dogs was exactly the formula for making a pet influencer. So I set on, out on this path with this contest to help find 15 pet influencers. It's going to be a six month contest. We have six different photo challenges. There'll be uh, two weeks to do each one and a month to a month worth of judging. We have celebrity judges lined up. We have wonderful prizes and probably the best thing that you'll get out of it is besides just the fun of being involved is that the winning dogs will become pet influencers. I would say the, the first thing that you have to do to get your dog to be a pet influencer obviously is get a lot of followers and like with anything in life the thing that people follow and that people gravitate towards uh, and that people love is story. So in the next video I'm going to tell you a little bit about storytelling and how to uh, tell your dog's story through pictures.